We stand on solid ground, but beneath our feet lies a hidden world, a realm that remains largely unexplored and mysterious to us. Deep within Earth's mantle, under immense pressure and heat, a remarkable mineral forms ringwoodite. This mineral is not just any ordinary rock, it is a key to unlocking the secrets of our planet's inner workings. This gem, invisible to the naked eye, holds secrets about our planet's past and present. By studying ringwoodite, scientists can gain insights into the conditions and processes that have shaped Earth over billions of years. Ringwoodite's story is one of transformation, a testament to the incredible forces at play within our planet. Under extreme conditions, it undergoes a metamorphosis, changing its structure and properties in ways that are still being understood. Discovered in meteorites in 1969, ringwoodite remained elusive within Earth until 2014. This discovery was a milestone as it confirmed the presence of this mineral deep within our planet. It forms in a specific region of the mantle known as the Transition Zone, a realm of intense pressure and scorching temperatures. This zone acts as a boundary between the upper and lower mantle, where significant geological processes occur. Here, the familiar minerals of Earth's upper mantle, like olivine, undergo a metamorphosis, rearranging their atomic structure to cope with the crushing depths. This transformation is crucial for understanding the dynamic nature of our planet's interior. Ringwoodite's discovery was a scientific triumph, offering a glimpse into the otherwise inaccessible depths of our planet. It opened new avenues for research and provided valuable data for geologists and other Earth scientists. Its unique properties, particularly its ability to store water, have revolutionized our understanding of Earth's water cycle and the dynamic processes occurring deep beneath our feet. This discovery has implications for everything from volcanic activity to the movement of tectonic plates, making Ringwoodite a true hidden gem in Earth's depths. Imagine a journey to the center of the Earth. As we descend, the temperature and pressure increase dramatically. Around 410 kilometers beneath the surface, we enter the transition zone, a realm of intense geological activity. Here, minerals behave differently, adapting to the extreme conditions. The transition zone is a mineral melting pot. Familiar minerals like olivine, the green crystal common in Earth's upper mantle, transform into denser forms. One of these is Wadsleyite, a stepping stone in the mineral transformation process. Deeper still, under even greater pressure, Wadsleyite transforms into Ringwoodite, the true star of the transition zone. This transformation is crucial. Unlike olivine or Wadsleyite, Ringwoodite has a unique ability. It can store water within its crystalline structure. This seemingly simple fact has profound implications for our understanding of Earth's water cycle and the distribution of water within our planet. Water, the elixir of life, exists not only on Earth's surface, but also deep within its mantle, locked away in the structure of ringwoodite. Think of ringwoodite as a sponge, capable of absorbing and retaining water molecules within its crystal lattice. This water is not in liquid form, but rather exists as hydroxide ions bound to the mineral structure. The immense pressure of the transition zone forces these ions into the ringwoodite, effectively storing the water within the mineral itself. This discovery was groundbreaking, overturning previous assumptions that water could not exist in significant quantities at such depths. The presence of water within ringwoodite has profound implications. It suggests that the transition zone, far from being a dry and barren region, might hold vast reserves of water, potentially dwarfing the combined volume of all Earth's oceans. Section 4, Subduction, Delivering Water to Earth's Depths. But how does water reach these extreme depths? The answer lies in the process of plate tectonics, the engine driving our planet's dynamic surface. When oceanic plates collide, one plate is forced beneath the other in a process called subduction. As the subducting plate descends into the mantle, it carries with it water-rich minerals, including those formed from altered ocean crust. These minerals act as delivery trucks, transporting water from the surface to the transition zone. 
Under the immense pressure and heat, the water is released and incorporated into the crystal structure of ringwoodite. Subduction acts as a giant conveyor belt, constantly delivering water to the transition zone. This process, occurring over millions of years, has gradually built up vast reserves of water locked within the ringwoodite of the transition zone. Section 5. A Hidden Ocean, the Transition Zone's Water Reservoir. This mysterious and largely unexplored region of our planet holds secrets that could reshape our understanding of Earth's water resources. The discovery of water-bearing ringwoodite has led scientists to a staggering realization that deep within the Earth's mantle, there exists a vast reservoir of water. The transition zone, a layer between the upper and lower mantle, may hold more water than all of Earth's oceans combined. This revelation is nothing short of astonishing. This hidden reservoir, tucked away hundreds of kilometers beneath our feet, challenges our very perception of Earth's water cycle. It suggests that the water cycle is far more complex than previously thought. The sheer volume of water potentially stored within the transition zone is difficult to fathom. Imagine an ocean three times the size of all our surface oceans combined, hidden deep within the Earth. It suggests that the water we see on the surface, in rivers, lakes and oceans, is just the tip of the iceberg. The vast majority of Earth's water may be hidden from view, locked away in this subterranean ocean. The vast majority of Earth's water may reside deep within its interior, locked away in this hidden reservoir. This discovery has profound implications for our understanding of the Earth's geology and hydrology. This hidden ocean plays a crucial role in regulating Earth's water cycle over geological timescales. It acts as a vast underground reservoir, slowly releasing water to the surface and absorbing it back over millions of years. It acts as a buffer, influencing the distribution of water between the surface and the deep Earth. This buffering capacity helps to stabilize the Earth's water supply, ensuring that surface water levels remain relatively constant over long periods. Understanding the dynamics of this hidden reservoir is crucial for comprehending the evolution of Earth's oceans and the long-term habitability of our planet. By studying this hidden ocean, scientists hope to unlock the secrets of Earth's past and predict its future. Section 6. Ringwoodite's Influence Shaping Earth's Fiery Breath the presence of water in the transition zone, facilitated by the mineral ringwoodite, has profound implications for our planet's fiery nature. This mineral, found deep within the Earth's mantle, acts as a reservoir for water, storing it at great depths. Water, even in trace amounts, can significantly lower the melting point of rocks. This means that rocks can melt at much lower temperatures than they would otherwise, which is a critical factor in the formation of magma. This seemingly simple fact has dramatic consequences for volcanic activity and the formation of magma deep within Earth. When rocks melt more easily, it leads to more frequent and intense volcanic eruptions. The water stored in ringwoodite can be released during mantle upwelling, where hot plumes of rock rise from the deep mantle. This process is essential in the cycle of magma generation and volcanic activity. This influx of water lowers the melting point of surrounding rocks, leading to the formation of magma. The presence of water acts as a catalyst, accelerating the melting process and contributing to the creation of molten rock. This magma, less dense than the surrounding rock, rises towards the surface, eventually erupting as volcanoes. The journey of magma from the deep mantle to the Earth's crust is a complex and dynamic process. The presence of water in these magmas influences their viscosity and explosivity. Water-rich magmas are typically less viscous, allowing them to flow more easily, but they can also be more explosive. Water-rich magmas tend to be more explosive, leading to more violent volcanic eruptions. These eruptions can have significant impacts on the environment and human life, making the study of ringwoodite and its water content crucial. Understanding the role of ringwoodite in transporting water to these depths is crucial for comprehending the dynamics of Earth's volcanic activity. By studying this mineral, scientists can gain insights into the processes that drive volcanic eruptions and shape our planet's fiery breath. Section 7. Unveiling Earth Secrets 
a journey to the center of our planet. The discovery of ringwoodite and its remarkable water storing properties has opened up new avenues of research in the earth sciences. It has revealed a hidden world beneath our feet, a realm of immense pressure, scorching temperatures and surprising abundance of water. The study of ringwoodite is a journey to the center of our planet, a quest to understand the fundamental processes that have shaped Earth into the habitable world we know today. It highlights the interconnectedness of Earth's systems from the depths of its mantle to the surface on which we stand. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of Ringwoodite, we gain a greater appreciation for the complexity and dynamism of our planet. This hidden gem, formed under unimaginable conditions, holds the key to understanding Earth's past, present and ultimately its future.